Hey, it's just a Trish. So it is nighttime routine right now going on. Um, I am cooking a late dinner. I don't have a little doohickey thing. That's fine. I okay, should have that. Ooh! That's why I should have that. So I've been doing Weight Watchers. This is not a Weight Watcher video. This is not about my weight loss video. I'm actually trying to make weight loss videos on another channel, but I haven't gotten that yet. But I'm doing some fish. Not a cooking video because somebody will say something not so nice about my lack of cleaning a stove. But anyways, cooking some fish, so I've got to give that a little attention. I want to talk about doing the homeschool trailer versus doing the house. So my first initial idea was take everything to schoolhouse. That would be better. Doesn't work out that way. So I've had to learn and I've been building like a little planner. I'll try and post um, an Instagram photo of that tomorrow or tonight or whenever. Um, I'll get that up there. So what I realized, some things have to happen in here. My kindergartner schoolwork has to happen in this house. It cannot happen in the schoolhouse. There's not the ability to focus. It's much more nurturing. It needs to happen here. We have been working, I told you earlier about working on the mundane things. Can I begin to tell you, I don't even think I've linked those books in that video yet. I love listening to Lee Borton's on the podcast for Classical Conversations. Phenomenal. And so we've been working on memory work and handwriting because working on the mundane, we got to do handwriting. So what I've been doing is I've been putting history sentences, and this is actually history and science sentence for week 13 coming up for cycle one and I put them on here so at night tonight I'm going to make my children write them so we're kind of using anything so I, I recreated a little shovel here I try to get everything out and then it comes back in right so what's shoved in here um, a book I'm reading the question one of Orville's kindergartner books I love the Rod and Stuff ABC's okay Here's Katie's. So Katie's was originally a planner in the past. And now she's using it for her copy work. So she'll write it at night. I have them write it in print and in cursive one time. So I have one, like here's Lottie's. It's black, so I've had to write it on the back. Addie's has a color one. The other thing we're doing in there, and I kind of brought this back. I left it. And now I brought it back because it's just, I have to attend those times of things I want them to do that we haven't done yet. I have to, and I haven't been. And so I can't expect them to learn spelling when we're behind in spelling, not behind, but we haven't attended to spelling like we should have. So I went back to using the spelling plus and I had that spiral bound. But I also go through and I highlight the notes that I want us to read out loud. So my thing is I found where they belong and I have them write it three times each and say the things in yellow three times each. And that's it. That's, we're just, we're going to get it through being matinee. Uh oh, somebody needs to tell. Then we're doing dictation. So this pairs up with spelling plus. And then I just read two sentences and they copy it. We talk about dict um, using it appropriately. All right, in my corner, I'm also reading the core, which I talked about last video. Um, we've been doing teaching textbooks, which is a funny story. I pulled Saxon back out. So what we're doing is in the morning, I'm having them do Saxon math because here's the thing. They were... I started printing out the books for teaching textbooks and then they're doing the workbook of teaching textbooks. I was wondering if I'd do it. I have my clock. Um, and that sound beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love it. And they were just doing the problems. They were working on the problems. They weren't even entering it in to, oh, cause it's quarter till. I'm like, why is it going so long? Um, they weren't entering it in the computer. They stopped using the computer portion and they're just reading and doing things. So part of that, um, listening to Lee Borton's and that classical education motto, you know, it's not about doing things hurried. 
which I really like because I mean I listen I could do a whole video of every misconception I ever had about classical education and the more and more I'm really learning and it's nice like I'm learning by reading the core and the question but I'm learning by listening to the podcast the podcasts have been so helpful. I mean, I have all the director training, but really getting the whole picture of it has been very enlightening on it. And so, um, I just made him start a lesson one because our biggest problem is being attentive and detail strict or, you know, for them to be really attentive when they do their work. So we have that. And then I've got a few other things. You know, I have these flashcards. This is how we do our phonics lessons. We do large finger trace, you know, finger tracing on those and do the sounds. So what I found, going back to that, is real life, real life, because you know, you got to get it all folded and do it. Ooh, I think my pan's too hot. Oh man, I'm gonna mess up my beautiful fish. It's almost done, ladies, who are gents. I don't know if any gentlemen are watching me, but. Fish is zero smart points. I'm going to have mine with cabbage. Katie's having hers. I'm splitting that with um, salad. So, we're kind of building a routine where we're doing copy work spelling dictation at night. And then in the morning when they start their day, copy work and math. I'm doing a whole lesson of math. And the biggest part, checking it. Because I've been guilty in the past not checking it. So, uh, the little workbooks here, we lay them out, check them. Catherine, I actually got her a new Saxon 8-7 book coming, and because none of my versions match my answer key, I have one, but the book was beat up, and the answer key was beat up, so I ordered that, and then I actually went ahead for a change and bought her the lessons on DVD, so they're about 10 or 15 minutes, so I'll show you that when it comes up. So anyways, I just wanted to give you a heads up, oh, and then once they do their, so I'm feeding them, getting them up earlier in the morning, doing the copy work. And then doing the math and then send them out to their chores and then send them out to the schoolhouse to do more um, of the CC oriented stuff. So we do that. And then that's it. I really want to include analytical task sheets in our morning, but I'm not there yet. So just kind of an idea. We don't do everything in the schoolhouse. It actually is working out better for them. But I got to let you go. Remember, I can do it. You can do it. We can do it.